Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Family Bible School. I'm Pastor Stephanie. And I'm Teacher Kristen. And we're so excited that you joined us again. Well, are you guys ready for music? Always. I'm always ready. So let's go ahead and sing together. We want to stand up, get some space, because we have some songs about food this mm, week. That's a little hint as to what's yes. coming. Hi guys. Join me in singing. We're going to sing the fruit of the Spirit. All right, what's our first fruit? A banana. A banana. All right, here we go. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well eat it. You can't be the fruit of the Spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All right, what's our next fruit? Papaya. Papaya? How Papaya. do we do that version? Oh dear. Oh. Okay. Ready? Oh, Let's go. The fruit of the spirit, not a papaya. The <laughs> fruit of the spirit, not a papaya. If you want to be a papaya, you might as well eat it. You can't be the fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, Gentleness and self-control. All right. What's next? Pineapple. A pineapple. What's the motion for pineapple? <laughs> That's cute. I okay. Need to talk okay. Here we go. <laughs> the fruit of the spirit's not a pineapple. The fruit of the spirit's not a pineapple. If you wanna be a pineapple, you might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love. Gentleness and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Gentleness and self-control. Ooh, do you have another song about fruit? I like papayas. You like papayas? Ooh. And bananas? Yeah. Oh, and I mangoes? Like yes. Okay. I like bananas. I think the mangoes are sweet. I like papaya, papaya, but nothing can be that sweet. Love of God. Well, I was walking down the circle about five miles an hour, trying to find my way back to my heavenly Father. The world tasted sweet, and then it turned sour, and then I took him in and received his power. I like bananas. I think the mangoes are sweet. I like papaya, papaya, but nothing can be that sweet. Love of God. Well, should we slow this down? Yes. Take it back to the yes. yesterday year. <laughs> yesterday year. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. 
following along with us, guys. We really enjoyed all the pictures and videos that you sent in. Mm -hmm. uh, those Minute to Win It games were so much fun. <laughs> yes. So. Good job with the chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I was, I, I'd heard about this experiment mm -hmm. that oh. you can do. Yes. You can make ice cream in a bag. I've heard this as well, and in fact, Hazel has done this at school before, hmm. but we have not tried we this. We haven't. So I'm a little curious because I heard that there's salt involved, and salt and ice cream, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to taste very good, mm. and I just don't know if this is going to work. Like, how, how does it get hard like that? Mm -hmm. So shall we try, we try it? it? I okay. Think, I think that's a good idea. All right. So to do this, what you're going to need is two Ziploc bags, one that's bigger than the other, and you're going to need some milk or half and half or you can use a non-dairy option a little mm -hmm. bit of sugar and some flavoring i put some vanilla in here okay and so apparently <laughs> all you need to do is have a bigger bag of ice yes and you put it inside okay okay wait we're missing something important oh the salt okay savannah can you get the salt all right, so you're gonna wanna have some salt. Wanna hold the bag? Now we're pouring the salt in with the ice, no. not into the ice cream, right? Yep. Okay, just making sure. Oh, that's a lot of salt. I okay, don't know on. how much we need. I don't either. Mm. We'll see okay. if that works. All right. Okay, now. We zip it on up. Zip it. Tight. <laughs> Did we get it? <laughs> All right. Now. Yep. So apparently there's two methods you can use. Okay. You can shake it. Ooh. Or what we're gonna try is tossing it back and forth. Okay. All right. This is going to be the This is the test. Ooh. That does look like homemade ice cream. Let's see. Look at that. I don't want that salty water getting in there. No, you don't want that. Look at that. Oh. It, it really looks like ice cream. Here. Chunky ice cream. Mm. We have chunky ice cream. Mm. That's pretty good. It's delicious. Well, mm. Mm -hmm. you guys got to try this. <laughs> so, our text today is found in Psalm 34, verse 8, and we have someone special that's going to read that for us. That's right, our friend Sloan. Um, let's hear it, Sloan. Hello, my name is Sloan, and I Today I'll be reciting Psalms 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Thanks, Pastor Stephanie and Teacher Christian. Bye! Thanks, Sloan. That looked tasty for sure. <laughs> well, there are many stories in the Bible that has to do with food. Mm. There's many stories in the Bible that have to do with people trusting in God, taking mm. that step of faith, trusting Him for protection, trusting Him to provide. But today, we're looking at a story that involves both food and trust. Mm -hmm. There was a prophet in the Bible mm -hmm. who had uh, some kind of scary things happen I mean, he was facing a terrible king. Who was after him. Yes. And mm -hmm. so he really had to trust in God fully to provide not only for his protection, 
but also his basic needs like food and water. Right. Yeah, so our story is taking place in Kings, First Kings. So get your Bibles out and you're going to turn to First Kings chapter 17 and 18. That's where this story takes place. Okay. Now to give you a little background to this story, mm -hmm. King Ahab was king over Israel. Now, mm, he was not the best king at all. He had decided to serve Baal instead of serving God. Uh -oh. He's, yeah, he set up an altar and made a temple to Baal, mm -hmm. and he was trying to get all of Israel not to trust in God, but to trust in Baal. And this is where the story begins. All right, I've got an idea. Okay, what's your idea? I'm gonna be Elijah. Well, I'll be King Ahab and the widow. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this, yes! People of Israel, we need to pray to Baal. Pray to Baal to send the rain. Look all around. There, there's no water for our crops. Pray to Baal to send the rain. Out of my way. Move it, move it. Out of my way. No. King Ahab, as surely as the Lord God liveth, there will be no dew, there will be no rain, until the people of Israel turn from their idols. Seize him! Where'd he go? Go! Go find him! Find him! I think I'm finally safe. The Lord whispered to me and told me to go hide by the brook Cherith. Here it is. Oh, you know, the Lord has always provided for me. I know he will again. He said he would provide, always take care of me. And look, in the middle of this drought, he has given me this beautiful brook with all the water that I need. What's that? Cocoa! 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 Look at this. He even provides food daily <laughs> by the ravens. They bring me bread and meat every morning and every evening. I never doubt that my Lord will provide for us. I can trust him because he is a good God. been by this brook for many days but even now the brook is starting to dry up how I wonder will the Lord provide for me even the plants the bushes everything is drying up I know I can trust my Lord wait what's that Lord you're telling me to go to Zarephath to find a widow? Yes, Lord, I will go to Zarephath. <laughs> this must be the widow that the Lord told me about. Excuse me, widow. Yes. I am so thirsty. Would you mind getting me something to drink? Oh, sure, I can draw you some water from the well. Oh, that would be great. Oh, and, and Widow? Oh, yes? I'm also so hungry. Do you have some bread or some food for me? Well, I was really here gathering just a few sticks so I could feed my son and I our last meal. I only have just a, a little bit of oil and a little bit of meal left. And so I was going to prepare our last meal and then we were just, we were going to die. Widow, let me tell you the story of my Lord. He will provide for you and take care of you. If you only have a little faith, that's all it takes. Hmm. I don't know. Should I trust in this God? Or should I feed my son and I our last meal from what I have? You know, I think, I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to trust that God will provide. Yes. 
c- come with me, sir. Come yes. With, and you can stay. Come with me to my house. You can okay. stay at a room that I have, oh, and I will you. make our last meal together. And if it's what you say, your God will provide for us. Trust me. Trust the Lord. He wants to provide for you. Oh, is this the last of your grain? This is the last, last of, of the grain. grain. And the last of your oil. The last of my oil. Thank you for trusting and making me this delicious dinner. The bread is done. Here's some for you and some for for me and my son. Mm. I just want to hear all about your God. Just tell me. I will tell you about the ravens that brought me bread. Ravens brought you bread? Ravens, yes. And I was by the brook and I had water. I had everything Mm. I needed. He will provide for you too. I'm curious to see what is going to happen in the morning Mm -hmm. because you said that God will provide the meal and the oil. And as you can see, I used it all just to make this loaf. Okay. Well, I'll show you where your room is. Okay. Well, this is it, God. This is the time where I'm going to see if you will, just like Elijah said, provide for our needs. I've got my sticks. I'm going to start the fire. Now for the true test. What? Elijah, come quick, come quick. What? What? what else? It's amazing. There was no meal yesterday and look. <gasps> Just like you said, God has provided. Just oh. enough for another day. Another day. You are so right. I'm so glad that I trusted in God. Yes. I just wish that all of Israel Yes, to trust in him. Yes, we he must will pray he that will they will refuge. all turn to him. Yes. <sighs> and they will all learn to trust in our Lord again. Oh, let's pray. Now, with the story of Elijah, yes. Elijah really had to trust that God was going to provide for him. He didn't know how God was going to provide for him. Mm-hmm. He just went and did what God asked. He had to step out in faith. That's right. So we have a little demonstration to kind of help us understand a little bit about, you know, the not knowing okay. and trying, right? Okay. Okay. And because our test, text is taste, taste and, and see that the Lord is good, it's going to have to do with food, right? Okay. okay. Now, I'm excited. for this to work, you have to pretend that you have no idea what cake tastes like. Cake. Okay. So cake, just Put it out of your memory. Ever tried this before? Never had a birthday cake or a cupcake. Nothing. Nothing. All right, here we go. So, if I show you this word and it just says cake, C A K E. Does that does that really give you an idea of what uh, cake would taste like? Do you really know what cake is like? No. Okay. Okay. Next, I have a picture of a beautiful. Cake. Oh, that is lovely. Now, if you saw this picture, you might think, ooh, that looks like it might taste good, but I've never really tried cake before, so I nope. don't know if it really does taste good or not. <sighs> People have told me that it does, but I haven't tried it myself. Okay. Okay. So, but now, if we were to bring you a cake mm-hmm. and cut you a slice of the cake, mm, ooh. This does look delicious. Can you smell the cake? Mmm. Mmm. If we were to actually let you try the cake, here's a fork for you, Pastor Stephanie. Cool. Then you would be able to say for yourself if it is good or if it is not good. That was a big bite. Mm-hmm. Is it good? That's All right. Really good. Well, now that you have tried it, you can say for sure that it is good. Just like God's goodness mm-hmm. in our lives, right? We have to say, okay, Lord, we want to trust you. Now, speaking of trust, we have another item. Oh. Yes. And, 
you know, we know that you know your parents, you know certain mm -hmm. people, and you really, you trust them, right? Absolutely. You trust that if they were to bake you, say, a cookie, mm -hmm. that you would know that it's going to be good, right? How would you know that, Pastor Stephanie? Well, I guess we would have to try it. Okay. Okay, so I've got some delicious cookies here. Wow, just like that. Well, you don't know if they're delicious, but I'm going to tell you, these have been cooked with lots of love, some wonderful ingredients, mm -hmm. and um, they are good. Would you try one of my cookies? You know, I think I can trust that these cookies are going to be good because I've had Pastor Stephanie's cookies before and they have always been delicious. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch you make them. I didn't see the ingredients going nope. into the pot. But uh, based on your actions in the past, I will absolutely trust you and try one of these cookies. Mm. That is a delicious cookie. So, mm -hmm. as we think about our text, we really need to, for ourselves, mm -hmm try God out, right? Mm -hmm. We need, we have all the stories in the Bible. We have experiences mm -hmm. that our parents and our friends have told us. We can read them. We can read all about it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? God really wants us to have that personal relationship with him. And he wants us to trust in him, that he is good, that he will provide for us and we could seek refuge in his care. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for giving us the Bible that we can know more about you. And I pray, God, that as um, we begin our journey in, in trusting you and learning more about you, that we will just come to know you more and to know that you've got this and we can step out in faith and believe in what you say because we've tried um, and we've tested and we know that you are good. So thank you, God, for being so good to us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. All right, well, we have a fun family activity for you to try next. And mm -hmm. it has to do with blindfolds and food. <laughs> are you guys ready? Well, we have some friends that are going to be helping us with this activity. All you will need is a blindfold. Yes. And some food mm -hmm. that they're going to try. Different and items. You can use all sorts of things mm -hmm. that you can find in your pantry or your kitchen at home. Yes. And you could do like a smell test first mm. if you want to, or you can just go for straight for the taste testing. And yes. that's what we're going to do today. So Anne is going to help us and yes. she is going to be giving her mom some <laughs> maybe delicious food. I don't know. Are you ready, Anne? Okay, okay, unveil it. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Okay. Okay. So Here comes your first item. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that is? Evie, do you want to try it? Can I try it? Lemon? Wait. Ooh. Ooh. You're right. You're correct. It was a lemon. <laughs> it was that sour. All right, good job. You're oh. one for one. <laughs> Let's see about the next item. What else do you have, Anne? Okay. Open your mouth. You want to try it, Evie? Give it to Evie too. That's okay. Mmm. Woo! Woo! <laughs> mm -hmm. She did. Okay, what do you think it is? Nutella. Yes, Yay! you're correct. <laughs> you are two for two. Okay, here we go. Here comes your next item. Ooh. This might be a little tricky. Okay, Open here up. it comes. Yes! Yay! 
That was a lot of it on this one <laughs> too. <laughs> Woo! Three for three. Okay, you have two more items left. Okay. Are you getting more scared now? I don't know. Okay, open up. <laughs> Evie, you want to try? Yeah, mm. try. Mm. A little less surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a plum? No. no. What Evie, is it? Do you know what it is? What is it? Mm -hmm. You want some more? <laughs> it that? is a cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Oh, that's asking you throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more with. item. Okay. Okay, and the last one. Ooh, that looks slimy. <laughs> it's like super gross. Mmm. <laughs> oh, you want to try some? Cheesy. Mm. You mozzarella? Yay! Yay! Good job! Good job, guys. Thank you for helping. <laughs> well, yeah. we hope you guys have fun with that one as well at home. Bye. Oh, and we want to see all of your pictures yeah, and don't your videos of your taste test and making your ice cream. Maybe you can trick your mom That's with the taste right. test too or your dad. So see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.